Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we proudly debut RFL's Global Top 50 Research Organization list, what we call the most realistic 2015 perspective on the 50 companies that are making the largest impact on the research marketplace. RBD are sponsored today and this week by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help companies quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance is a decision analyst company. No one has to explain to any of you out there how much the research industry has been changing in the last 10 and what the heck last 20 years and also how much it continues to evolve. For clients buying research, one of the key priorities formally was this major hiring decision about who to bring on as your core research supplier. Many of the best agencies have grown and grown in recent years, and so have key research project suppliers for elements like sample and others. But at the same time, client research functions have discovered that traditional research doesn't have a monopoly on insights. There is value in tapping other information sources. And the need to know more about consumers has helped launch relationships with direct marketers and database companies, something that would have been absolutely impossible to see 20 years ago. Then there are CRM and analytics, which have muscled their way into clients' insights streams. Well, all of those information advances are reflected in the RFL Global Top 50 Research Organization list that is attached to this video. And I think it does require something of an explanation. For more than 40 years, the annual Hanna-Michael Top 50, and since 2014, the Gold Top 50, has listed research agencies, which has been intriguing and interesting. And these rankings have caused a good deal of conversation in our industry as companies have gone up and down that ladder. Over the years, I've been encouraged over and over again to release my own top 50 list, but I didn't see any need for it because why duplicate what Hannah Michael was doing so effectively? However, gradually, to borrow a phrase that's used more and more in politics these days, my attitude towards an RFL list for the industry evolved. And at the same time, the Hannah Michael list did not. We hope that every research executive downloads our attached top 50 report, which mirrors how the industry has and is changing. And if you are inclined to slough it off, which some of you may, I think you do so at your own risk because your competitors and your suppliers out there are in a tremendous state of flux. If you compare this year's Gold Top 50 with RFL's Global Top 50, you will notice some prominent differences. Our eight-page report ignores, for instance, domestic sales. It reflects only global revenues. Why? Well, we're following the lead and the advice of research agencies, which explain to us that a notable amount of their work that is paid domestically is actually conducted outside the United States. So what is the correct categorization of those revenues? Well, we became more and more convinced that every company's global revenues are really all that matters. And that put that issue to rest. You will note the appearance on our list of a number of different companies that you may have never seen or heard of before. One is Omnicom. It is the giant holder of advertising agencies and also the owner of several research agencies, well-known names like Communispace and Mark Research. And they own a number of others and they also have a number of different companies that as part of their business operation conduct research. So Omnicom is number 20 on our list. Then there is Focus Vision. It is a developing research entity and in recent years, it has acquired Revelation Research, it has acquired Decipher, and other research enti uh, entities. And it is number 43 on our list. Focus Vision is a key research supplier, and it's not even eligible to be considered for the Gold Top 50. The 2015 research world is also beginning to be more and more congregated by a number of organizations that are not even what we would consider research organizations. But client end users and other corporate senior executives are expending growing sums on CRM, 
on analytics, on big data, and on other new insights generating capabilities that can increasingly support important business judgments that research cannot. And as a result, the RFO Global Top 50 includes a number of auspicious research suppliers, analytics suppliers, and some little-known unorthodox research-like companies. For instance, you will find IBM. It is the unassuming owner of SPSS, which it bought in 2009, but it's got several other research-related supplier properties, and it is the surprise number three company on our list. And then there is a company known as InMoment, a non-traditional research business that you'll say, I've never heard of them but they've been seizing sizable pieces of project work away from entrenched research companies. Those research companies told us that. In Moment is number 48 on our list. So get used to these and other organizations who will be edging their way in and up our list in coming years. And now that we've explained why the RFL Global Top 50 Research Organization list exists, we invite everyone to comment on what we think is a distinctly different industry perspective. Oh, and also pay attention in the attachment to the first ever top 10 big data company list. In many cases, these companies and their competitors are novel burgeoning state-of-the-art insights providers for numerous client companies. And they are just more evidence of the serious change taking place in our research world. If you'd like to comment directly to me, my email is rflbob at gmail.com. Of course, you can post your comments beneath our YouTube video. That's your Research Business Daily Report where we've been sponsored by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help their clients understand the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company, would like to make it easy for you to find out more about them. So a link has been created. It is www.nuancecoding.com. Click on it and really get the benefit of everything that Nuance can provide. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.